gorgeous people of the interwebs. I hope you're having a fan dabby dozy day today. Now you may know I'm not as in love with Louis Vuitton as I once was. However, I do still have some favourite pieces that I absolutely adore from Louis Vuitton. So today I am going to share with you my five, yes, five top Louis Vuitton SLGs. I'm going to share with you, first off, my bag of the day because we have been out doing the food shop and uh, although I was dressed rather low key, I decided to take my <laughs> my gold uh, uh, Aspinall, this was the Soho Clutch um, with its chain strap, this is what it comes with, it comes with this and a little wrist strap which I didn't use and I just pop this on, it's got my bits and pieces, my Gucci key holder and stuff in there and yeah it carried exactly what I needed for the food shop and made me feel a little bougie while I was doing it. As I said at the very beginning I have not been buying a lot from Louis Vuitton in recent years because it, they've not been doing anything that's excited me and also I've been pretty pissed off with them if I'm honest with the stupid mega price hikes that they have been chucking at us multiple times a year so I am not in any way shape or form saying that I think any of these items that I'm going to be sharing with you are worth the new inflated prices even if you could get your hands on them I am just saying that out of all of the pieces that I have these are my five favorite SLGs from Louis Vuitton but first, if you are new to my channel, then I'm Gwenny and I love luxury in all of its glorious forms. And if you love luxury in all of its glorious forms, then go ahead, get down there, hit subscribe and ring my bell so you don't miss out on any of my shenanigans. Show the videos you enjoy the thumbs up love. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Right, the first one is going to come as no great surprise. And she has featured very, very recently because... She was part of my Gucci key pouch unboxing. Yes, Miss Clay, my Louis Vuitton clay or key pouch. This I have had since 2002 or 2003. In fact, I can remember this now because I have got my trusty spreadsheet available in front of me. I've looked it up, it was September 2002, I picked up this little beauty. She's a little bit battered and tattered. There is, um, there's where to the zip and where to the um, actual key thing. But that is because, oh, September, it's going to be your 20 year anniversary with me. We're going to have to have a party. We're going to party like it's 2002. So yes, I've had it basically forever. I have used her almost constantly during that time frame. I think there were a few years where I just let her be at rest, have a little bit of a snooze in a drawer somewhere, and I am giving her a little bit of a rest again now. But this has been, and will continue to be, one of my favourite Louis Vuitton purchases ever, let alone SLGs. It's just fabulous. These aren't going in any kind of order of importance because if they were this one would probably come up before the clay as in more important and um, this mini pochette accessoire is just phenomenal i never knew i needed a catch-all this kind of size and shape i went in um store to try and buy the pochette accessoire they didn't have one and it was right at the very very beginning of the real clamp down on availability of canvas pieces and I thought well I'll try this instead it's smaller but I kind of want to use it as a catch-all inside my bigger bags anyway it has been just I love it I cannot tell you how much I love it. It carries a load of things. I use it on the daily. The only time I don't use it is if I'm carrying a really teeny tiny bag um, and it just takes up too much space in the teeny tiny bag and I, the bag is so tiny I can only put a few bits in here anyway. So um, that's the only time I don't use it. Otherwise I use it all the damn time. I used it in my Neverfull for traveling, putting the clip 
on the D-ring on the inside of my Neverfull so it so I can easily find it um, but it won't come out completely and I just absolutely adore this thing it will be in my collection not collection until the end of time my third favorite SLG from Louis Vuitton is an SLG it is another very very popular piece but a lot of people use it as a bag and it is of course the pochette accessoire now I love the size of this I do prefer this to the old model this is the new model um, I do prefer it to the old model although when I had my old model before I sold it years and years and years and donkeys ago and um, I use that thing all the time uh, it's got a little slip pocket in there it's lined it is lovely it is gorgeous and I don't use it as a handbag quite as much as I did before and that is because I don't particularly like Vachetta. I'm not a fan of Vachetta. I do have a Louis Vuitton Vachetta strap to go with it. I have considered wearing a different coloured strap and in fact I have worn the black strap, the skinny strap from my Neo Noe with this. But, and I know this probably sounds daft to a lot of you, it really bothers me that the strap is black leather and this tab is in Vachetta. It's just like, it just makes it stick out like a sore thumb to me. However, I do still enjoy using this for when we travel, whenever that's going to be again, I'll be using it again, keeping the things that I really want to keep on me in it. So passports, wallet, phone, extra strong mints, you know, the things that I want to get my hands on really, really quickly and easily while everything else is bundled into my Neverfull. It is still a favourite. I don't see myself ever getting rid of it. My next favourite Louis Vuitton SLG is one that you don't really hear about much. And I think that is a great shame because I bought it kind of spur of the moment here. I had been looking at it. Um, I'd gone into Louis Vuitton with the hubby, I think it was on my birthday again, uh, couldn't find the things I wanted to find, I picked up my Scarlet um, Pochette Felici, my Rosalie card holder, and this, this is the Louis Vuitton packing cube, or cube d'arrangement, uh, and this is in the size medium so there's a smaller size and a much larger size I think basically the smaller size is half the size of this and the larger size is twice the size of this so I think it's like paper a5 a4 a3 you get the idea so this is the packing cube in size medium it is lined in the same fabric as the pochette accessoire is lined you can see I've just got some bits and pieces here these are just I don't know why I've kept these. These are all the empty boxes for some of my um, luxury makeup stuff. I think I thought I was going to use them, the boxes, it's my perfume box there, use them for Instagram photos, but frankly I haven't got time for that anymore and that wasn't really my kind of thing anyway. Although I do love a good flat lay, so if you're on Instagram and you're doing flat lays, flat lays keep up the good work. When I get on there, I'll give you a little heart, a little, a little like. So, why do I love this so much? Well, at the moment, obviously, it's filled with a load of rubbish. Uh, but um, I love this because I can just sit it on the side and I don't have it zipped up all the time, but I can just pop things in there and it's kind of covered up and hidden away. I can pop it in a drawer and it's easy to lift it up. But the main thing that I love about this is, um, and this is going to sound particularly strange. Was that something on the glazing? No, it's fine. It's fine. Don't panic. The main thing that I love about this um, is my childhood teddy bear is very precious to me and I still sleep with my teddy bear as well as the lion but I still sleep with a teddy bear. I just, it's like having a pillow or something to cuddle while I go to sleep. My childhood teddy bear needs to be sent off for repair. He's lost basically all of his filling and everything. Uh, but what that did mean when we were traveling before everything went a little bit crazy, um, I used to be able to fold him up and put him in here along with jewelry pieces and stuff like that. And then I could put this in my key, my key pool or my Neverfull and carry it as part of my hand luggage. So it would keep my teddy bear safe, folded up, away from prying eyes and things like that. And then when I get to the other end, 
out he comes, out everything else comes. Jewellery, passports, spare cash, all of that kind of stuff gets thrown in here and it gets put into the hotel safe and it is the perfect size. Now we've all done it, we've all chucked things into the hotel safe and then we've gone to retrieve it and we've been sort of rummaging around and trying to find it. With this, you pop everything in this, you chuck it in the hotel safe, you open the safe, you just pull this out and everything you need is there and collected and all in one place. And I absolutely love it. Yes, I use it on the daily in the way that it just sits there and it's got stuff in it. So I'm not taking it out on the daily or anything like that. Um, it really gets used. It really comes into its own when we're traveling. Obviously we've not done that for a while, but it is still one of my favorite SLGs. And I don't think enough people look into things like this. I think it's a brilliant piece. It is very under considered. And my final favourite Louis Vuitton SLG is one that I picked up on my birthday in 2019. I seem to buy a lot on my birthday, don't I? I save it all up for buying on my birthday. And it is the Nice Mini. This had only just been released when I picked it up for my birthday. Um, I had been interested in the Nice, but I always thought it was a bit too big. And then they released this size and I thought that is a better size for me and for what I need. Now that I've had this for a while, I would quite like the Nice as well. And maybe the Nano. It sits on the side in our bedroom and it contains things like my bunny ears that I wear every day when I'm doing my makeup or getting in the shower and tying, tying my hair up when I don't need to wash it. My silk... Um, Ujima flips, what do you call them? Scrunchies. And I've got a load of little products in there. It's got the wipe clean interior. So yes, I do use this for travel. Things like my long handled hairbrush and stuff like that, that doesn't fit in here. My toothbrush in its case doesn't fit in here. But in terms of all my creams and my hair bits and pieces and all of that kind of gubbins, that goes in here. And it's, it's great to pick up and just move around. I had tried using it as a handbag. I saw a lot of people doing that. Um, I wasn't convinced. I did use it as a handbag. I'm even less convinced about using it as a handbag now. It just, it doesn't sit right, literally doesn't sit right. When I put a crossbody, it literally didn't sit right on me, but it also doesn't sit right with me because it is so obviously a toiletry case. I. I don't get the fascination. This is a toiletry case and that is what I shall use it for. Um, I was a little bit kind of, oh, have I made the right decision when I bought it? Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. it. It used to sit in here just as an ornament on the side, but I use it and I don't want all my things to be ornaments. I want them to be useful and used and loved. So those are my five favourite Louis Vuitton SLGs. What are your favourite Louis Vuitton SLGs? Let me know in the comment section down below. I do hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please show it the thumbs up love. And until I see you, yes you, boop. For the next video, please stay safe, be kind to yourselves, be kind to others because yes, Kindness matters. Stay fan dabby dozy and bye bye.